This is a vacuum breaker. Basically, it is a one-way valve that is activated by a vacuum or negative pressure, like this. On every hot water cylinder installation, there are several mandatory safety elements. Two of those are vacuum breakers on the inlet and outlet of the geyser. These are to prevent potential back drainage of the geyser water and, or implosion of the cylinder. I've set up a little demonstration vacuum breaker under the same pressurized conditions as it would be on your geyser. I would like to demonstrate what happens when a vacuum breaker fails and they are notorious for failing. Problem being that the most popular location for a geyser installation is in the ceiling and if you have a failed vacuum breaker it could cause an irrigation system in the ceiling. I believe many times that a failed breaker is diagnosed incorrectly as a burst geyser because for the professional it pays more. The damage can be drastic so people just accept this. A colleague of mine developed the vacuum cap to prevent the potential damage from a faulty breaker. It's a dual layered hard plastic cap that fits directly onto the vacuum breaker. It allows the breaker to breathe and function as normal. It's a simplistic design with little holes incorporated at the bottom so you can just slip a cable tie through and once you have popped it onto the vacuum breaker you just slide the cable tie in and it is secure. The cap offers other benefits even for external installations for example its UV resistance and its insulating effect on your brass vacuum breaker. And this is the cap under 6 bar pressure with the pin removed on the vacuum breaker. So this is pretty much worst case scenario. The water would run directly to the drip tray and then outside. My colleague Dale went back to a 5 year old installation to check the way. Just on 5 years, vacuum caps were fitted over new vacuum breakers. As you can see, the lagging is pretty much disintegrated. And the vacuum cap is showing signs of UV damage. And let's see what the new vacuum breaker looks like after five years. There you have it. A five-year-old vacuum breaker exposed to the elements, covered with the vacuum cap, is still in perfect condition and completely preserved. Okay, let me try to do the other one. First of all, cut the cable tie. Slide it off. There you have it. Another perfectly preserved vacuum breaker. No doubt the vacuum cap has taken a serious hammering up here on the half felt but it's certainly done its job.